Gemini, Scorpio, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a tarot reading for your next 48 hours. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But I do want to thank you in advance for your love and support by liking, commenting, and of course subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now do keep in mind as well this is meant to pertain to the following 48 hour period for you individually starting around when you're guided or drawn to this reading, not just uh, following when I post it. But we're going to jump right into it and pull from the Energy Oracle deck. And then we'll use the, um, the Tattoo Tarot for the remainder of your reading. I feel like you're um, appearing happier than you feel within. There's a hint of somberness um, about your energy. But I did hear spirit rhyming before I recorded, uh, started recording, and they said, um, your journey is bright, so let's take flight. Your journey is bright, so let's take flight. I feel like you need um, this crystal for a bit of uh, bravery at this time. And I'm not saying you're not a brave soul, I just feel like at times you, you lose that um, bit of bravery that you're needing at this time to embark upon something new or to just transition or to make the best until the best. I'm hearing speaking up will not do you justice at this time. For my lovely Scorpios, for the next 48 hours for Scorpio. Okay, we have two here. We're going to just go with those. Appreciation and door to spirit. I feel like you're remembering how much you truly are appreciated within a situation, I feel like uh, there's a focus on love, uh, whether that's family love, it's uh, romantic love, it could be love for oneself, it could be more than one form, but I really feel like you're appreciating others as well. Um, and there's a focus on walking away, okay? Leaving what no longer works for you behind or planning to do so moving forward, even if it's just um, certain thoughts that come to be. And I really feel like there's a chance to connect with spirit on a different level throughout the next 48 hours all right uh let's pull some tarot staying in your lane is what i'm hearing you're either going to be recommended um push to stay within one's lane or you're just simply doing so all right but i feel like you're being noticed um for the good and for the bad in the next 48 hours okay we have the king of swords coming out and i feel like uh, you are appreciating someone who's very wise, all right? Even if it doesn't completely come off that way. Um, it's somebody older than you, I feel the need to say. But I also feel like you're embodying this energy, this way of being at certain points in the next 48 hours where you're um, showing people, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe come off a bit feisty at times. But I also feel like you're thinking about nature, leaves. Um, I saw this as uh, feathers at first, but then it came through as leaves. You could be thinking about change of season for some, um, wanting to fly towards something new, all right? And I really feel like you're going to soar to new heights in the upcoming weeks, upcoming months, but it just feels like it's the next two days that feels like a bit of a heavy transformation, transition, um, however you want to view it. But there's a need to keep the hope alive, okay, with that dove. There's a need to keep it alive. As I do feel like, there's certain points where you remember why you're not connecting with certain people. You could be thinking about a lack of love in your life um, in one form, but then you have a heavy amount of love in another sense, in another way or multiple other ways. But I do feel like you are um, meeting people, okay? Or expecting to meet new people in the upcoming days, upcoming weeks. I do feel like you're thinking about um, giving birth to something new, okay? Uh, and supporting other people i feel the need to say I, I feel like there's one other person that appreciates you in a way that you is unexpected and that just lights you up it keeps you moving forward it revives you a bit um revives your uh hope your energy okay Th this person is very important in your along your path okay it's depending on your situation could vary as to how um permanent they are in your situation but you get the point Okay. They're saying meet new people and thrive in the midst of all of which. Okay. And we have the three of cups. I feel like there's a, 
celebration taking place or an expected celebration taking place. But I feel like there's a lack of color in the midst of all of which, if you look at that imagery and the fact that it isn't colored in, I feel like you and two other uh, individuals tapped into their feminine side, male or female, or it could be you and three others celebrating, excited, um, smiles, laughter, love. But I feel like for whatever reason, uh, one of you, if not all of you, are feeling quite drained at this time, or it feels like there's expected color within the celebration that continues moving forward or pops back up. But as of right now, it just feels quite bland in certain ways. Uh, they're saying things will change. Things will change. Now, I do feel like in the midst of being appreciated and the, the love floating around the celebration taking place, um, I, I do sense with the Two of Swords that you're a bit confused. With the number 22 coming out here, there's a message for you within the angel number meaning. You're feeling as if you don't understand how something is meant to proceed, or you're just a bit nervous about the future of your uh, your life, okay? You could even be worrying about other f futures besides your own. Now, don't allow your caring, uh, concerned nature to get the best of you or to alter your confidence or your energy levels at this time. I feel as if there's something to realize when you look up at the moon, okay? Something to realize. With the Seven of Pentacles coming out, you're simply putting in the hard work that is needed at this time to see growth. And I feel like you're reminded that, yes, you still have to put in that, that hard work, but your connection to spirit can help all the meanwhile. It's this co-creation reminder that comes through at certain points. But you're feeling quite secretive. Okay, and this may connect to that individual who is older than you and quite wise. But I also feel like you're holding more knowledge, more um, knowing, inner knowing than you want to express at this time. It's this uh, strategic way about you that comes to be or continues to be um, alive within oneself. And you're just, it's like you're sensing intuitively that you just need to keep what you know to oneself until the time is right or just in general, all right? Um, okay, don't let the secrecy get the best of you. We have the Ten of Cups, all right? I feel like there's a focus on family life, a focus on happily ever afters or one in general, home life. Um, I just feel like uh, somebody could be giving legit birth to a child um, or expecting to, but I feel like the clouds are clearing and you need to remember that as connections take such a big focus in the next two days for you. And I really feel like there could be a moment or two where you're feeling a bit anxious, even others around you are, but there's something to improve on or to learn or both when it comes to that. But more so, this is talking about a passionate, fresh start that is tying into that celebration, all right? I feel like you could be even um, experiencing uh, or expecting uh, two different types of celebrations, right? two different types of, of passionate beginnings. Um, where it one could tie into your work and one could tie into something completely different, all right? Um, but I do, and both don't have to be your specific beginning, but I feel you're involved in one way, shape, or form. Let the, the positives outweigh the negatives. I feel they need to remind you, all right? It's the next 48 hours where you're charging forth, but expecting to have to... Um, put up your sword and, and partake in a bit of a battle or just defend oneself. And I feel like you might be partially correct, but all the meanwhile, you shouldn't feel the need to put on a full body of armor to get done what you need to, or to, uh, I just feel like you need to take a deep breath and they're saying relax. And I know you may not want to hear that per se, but I do sense that um, finding certain ways to calm oneself uh, within will help you energy wise stress-wise, and it will just allow you to move forward uh, with a clear mind, okay, and feeling less anxious all the meanwhile. And I do feel like there's certain moments where you see things moving slower than you expect, or you feel like you're crawling towards what you desire, and it's a little bit frustrating, but everything happens in divine timing, the way it's destinedly meant to, right? And there's going to be a moment or two, or if not, it could be the whole 48-hour period for some of you Scorpios, where you feel you can't move quickly, right? You just feel this sort of 
slow uh, moving way about you, that's purposeful. Spirit could be slowing you down. It could be the energy in the air if you're very empathic or just affected by energy. However it ends up working out for you, be one with that way of being as I do feel like it's benefiting you. And I just sense that there's some healing taking place and more expectedly in the upcoming days and weeks. But I just feel like you have a lot of positive changes on the horizon, celebration. And I feel like even once again with another blindfold, even if you don't fully get what lies ahead, it just feels like you're getting a taste of justice, all right? It's like, ugh, I hung in there long enough and now I'm finally getting what I deserve. I just feel like there's abundance overflowing from your cup and from others around you at this time as I feel like you are really in touch with your masculine side, okay, um, at certain points, but also just feeling a bit emotional, okay, as your third eye opens to more of what's meant to transpire moving forward, not all of which, allow for yourself to expect the best and understand there's so much more to uh, experience in your life than you have experienced up until this point, and definitely more celebration once again, as changes in the air and uh, love is all around you. All right, so let's pull some charms. Underneath it all, you could also be very focused on your pentacles, your money. So we have the Scorpio. You have an angel, all right? It feels like there is a true angelic uh, guidance taking place, all right? And then we have a starfish, I almost said it wrong. And I feel like you're being very expressive, very open in certain ways, but strategically secretive in others, okay? Other people could be very much, uh, be, sorry, let me say that again. Other individuals you're connecting with in the next 48 hours could be very much an open book with you. You're giving off vibes where they can do so. And a tree, all right? I feel like things are growing. I do feel like there's a bit of um, spiritual replenishment and healing taking place as well. And that could come stem from some of that celebration or self-care. We have a key here. The key to your abundance is going to become more evident in the next, or obvious in the next uh, 48 hours. But I do feel like there's more blanks to be filled in moving forward. Another angel, all right? Another angel. And I feel like you're just thinking about your past over loved ones as well for some of you. But I just feel like in the midst of this justice, you're reminded that you are truly guided and protected and things will work out the way they're meant to, um, when they're meant to, all right? Let's put this one back. <laughs> A third angel, wow. I just feel like um, angels watching over me, okay? You, with the number three coming out, that being of significant spiritual connection, as well as success that's meant for you. And we have a lotus, all right? Healing vibes. Um, I want to say good luck is on your side in certain ways, but I do feel like you are needing peace at this time and to remember that you're protected in the midst of new beginnings, changes, developments. But I just feel like you're blossoming and... Uh, not all of which needs to be expressed at this time, but I feel like it's the next 48 hours that reminds you of what you're made out of, all right? And it just reminds you that your future and your loved one's futures are bright. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing next 48 hours, and I will see you next time. Bye, Scorpio.